Thanks, Paul. Ireland is about to get a new TD. Counting is still underway in the Mid East by election. But at this stage, Fianna Gael's 26 year old candidate, Helen McEntee, looks almost certain to be elected. Votes for Sinn Fein, Labour, and Direct Democracy Ireland are being redistributed between Fianna Gael and McEntee's closest rival, Fianna Falls, Thomas Byrne. Now, let's take a look at some other headlines from here at home. There was some good news on the jobs front for Waterford today. 200 positions are being created at Nipro Healthcare. The US multinational already employs 400 people at a plant in Bray, County Wicklow. The company is investing 60 million euro in the Waterford facility, with the jobs coming on stream over the next two years. The plan to place a microchip in every dog has been broadly welcomed. It's hoped new legislation will help to reduce the number of stray, abandoned or abused dogs in the country. But it's still not clear how much the procedure will cost. It's estimated it could cost between 40 and 60 euro per animal. The Air Corps has been assisting in delivering emergency food drops to farmers north of the border. A second British Army Chinook is also expected to bring supplies to farmers in the glens of Antrim and South Down. Met Aaron has renewed its weather warning for today. Further snow showers are likely for Dublin, Kildare, Louth, Meath and Wicklow, where up to five centimetres of snow could fall. Slightly lighter amounts are forecast for the rest of Leinster and the border counties. The renewed snow and ice alert remains valid until six o'clock this evening.